Good morning, Monto. What are you doing uh, there? Uh, uh, good morning. Good morning, Teacher Lynn. Good morning. <laughs> Monto, what are you doing? Oh, Teacher Lynn, I'm building a wall. Mm. Do you like why my are you... wall? Yeah, but why are you building a wall? Oh, Teacher Lynn, my grandparents are afraid to leave the house because in the news, all people are getting beaten up. Mm. And so I'm going to build a wall to keep the bad people out. <laughs> mm. So does that wall make you feel safe? It sure does, Teacher Lynn. See, it's like this. When the bad people come, oh, look, a bad person. I can hide away. And if they get really close, I can boom, 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 punch them in the face, Teacher Lynn. <laughs> Monto, that sounds really violent. I don't think that punching others or building walls is the answer. Mm, you're right, Teacher Lynn. Where's my Nerf gun? <laughs> oh. No, 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 Wanto. That is definitely not the right answer. Hmm. Teacher Lynn, hmm. do you have a better idea? Hmm. You know, in fact, I do. We're studying the book of Ephesians, and in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 14, it says that Jesus has made the two groups one and has destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. So, Monto, that means that Jesus tore down the wall between different groups of people. Like, so you never need to say other people. You never have to say us versus them or those people are mean people. Mm. No, Teacher Lynn. I'm scared of the mean people. Yeah, and I like this wall. My plan is to build the wall higher and higher and higher. Mm. Oh, Monto, do you see what the problem is now? There's no problem. I have a bag of potato chips back here. Look. Monto, the problem is I can't really see you anymore and we can't talk between a wall and it's hard to be friends. That's what building a wall does. It separates us and it disconnects us and it can even tear us apart. And behind the wall, you might get kind of lonely. Maybe we should try to build bridges with other people, not walls. Julian, I think I'm feeling what you're talking about. Like right now, I feel a little cold and lonely like i'm talking to a wall <laughs> okay monto well then what do you think needs to happen i mm, tear the wall down teacher lynn yeah monto that's exactly it because jesus already did that jesus paid the price on the cross and we are no longer separated we are one uh, uh, can I do it? I don't know if I can do it. Did, oh, hmm. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. One. Come on. Two. Three. Ha! Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Teacher Lynn, that felt pretty good. <laughs> Great job, Monto. Hey, Monto, remember this. Building walls is not helpful. And it can actually be hurtful. It keeps you from seeing other people, and it keeps others from seeing you. You know, Teacher Lynn, sometimes I can build a wall against people in my heart. Yeah, Monto, that's why we need Jesus, because Jesus is the only one who can tear down those walls in our heart. We need to be open to allow Jesus in, and he will take away those feelings that keep us from other people who might be different, maybe even mean, and then we won't need to be scared of them. Wow, I get it, Teacher Lynn. Jesus will protect me, and Jesus will be the one to smash down the walls in my heart.
No more walls. <laughs> exactly, Monto. No more walls in your heart. Try building bridges. And you know what, guys? That's today's lesson. Bye, kids, and bye, everyone. See you soon.